many of my colleagues are talking about uh, leaving. This former teacher in the Metro asked us to hide her identity. She chose to leave an eight year career this fall for a nine to five job with less stress. The salary was just not, is just not worth the anxiety, the safety, frustrations, the mental, mental health in general. She's not alone. More than a thousand teachers have left the state's two largest districts since the pandemic began. Jenny Benson, the president of the Nebraska State Education Association, calls it a crisis. Now we have a lot of people leaving, not only not coming into the profession, but also leaving. The NSEA is in the process of surveying its 28,000 members about the staffing crisis and what needs to be done. They hope to have the results by next month. We need to listen to the educators who are in the classroom doing the work. Benson says they've already made some recommendations, including using Federal Recovery Act funds to give $1,000 pay bonuses, allowing more planning time for teachers and additional family leave for COVID-related exposures. Which all boils down to resources. We asked the governor if he has any plans to use state or federal money to address the staffing shortage. When we're talking specifically about our schools, that's going to be up to local school boards to address those. Uh, you know, certainly if there's things that the legislature wants to come back and talk about, we can, we're certainly open to talking about that. Money that is invested in education, in educators, and in our students is a very good investment. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.